Good morning, Cyber Traders. Happy Wednesday, everyone. On this lovely day here in New York, nice and sunny. Looks like, uh, Grant, you have nice weather where you are in Ohio. Beautiful. Good to see you. All right. Good morning, Craig, Tom, Dave. Look at all those great chats coming in. Good morning to all of you. Good morning, Lita. Nice there, too. I think it's nice everywhere. It's about time. Summer has arrived. John, good to see you. Deb, good to see you. All right. All the, fine, all the cyber traders. All right, let's get right to work. Um, guys, we had a great morning yesterday. You remember I was telling you a story about going fishing, and you wake up, you put in your time, eventually you hit the big fish. You know, um, you just gotta, you just, it, it's your job, right? Well, this morning, I'll tell you, it wasn't as, it's not, I, there's a lot of moving going on, but you know, I was telling you earlier, for the ones of you earlier, it looks like we had a lot of gapping going up pre, uh, early, and so there's, it, it, we didn't have, so far, I didn't see anything as pretty as yesterday, like the like we're looking at right now, the ASTC. I mean, that was just taking candy from a little kid yesterday. Unbelievable. Talking about hitting the big tuna right there. Boom. ACTC went from $2 all the way to $8. Um, a lot of us made a lot of money on it. I posted on, um, did a nice little video on YouTube yesterday, and uh, a lot of people liked it. A lot of, got a lot of fans on that one. But, um, but you know, listen... You could just make your day's pay, you know, and, and, and enjoy the rest of the day. Because look what it did after the middle of the day. Absolutely nothing. So, um, it, and yes, right, Grant. It's very hard to catch the, catch the gaps. And we're going to talk about them a little bit. Let me just go through some other stocks that some of the people here that did not see yesterday we traded. So, ASTC was our biggest winner yesterday. That thing was up about three 400%. You know, we haven't caught one of those in a, in a while. I think it's been over a week since we had something that big. But it was a pretty nice one. Um, we got in the room. GEVO was another really nice stock yesterday too. That one just you saw went from four to twenty four. It, it's just a rally kept going on that stock. Um, it had a couple of nasty shakes. It, it, all of a sudden we went from a, a level two to a level four trade, you know, um, type of stock. But GEVO was also a really nice mover. Look at that long term chart, four to twenty four. Man, that is unbelievable. You know, everyone's out there. And saying, you know, I would, I mean, I made fifty percent of my money last year. I bought this one stock. I'm like, you killed it fifty percent. Yeah, well, you know what? Here you have one that goes up almost five hundred percent. Actually, I think it's more than that. No, it's about, yeah, about almost five hundred percent in 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 a day. But that's day trading. That's that's the big difference. But you know, why is it up? Who cares? It's all about momentum. Nice little move on that GEVO. A lot of you guys did well on that. Give you guys, give you guys a round of applause. All right, um, we also trade the IQ. Uh, listen, IQ is gapping up. That's been our great swing trade. I don't know what happened here the last minute, but the stock, uh, you know, obviously market took a huge hit yesterday. Um, obviously, you guys heard what's going on with the tariffs. Uh, they're raising the tariffs uh, in China. I don't know if this has something to do with it. You know, what, this is how you know when a company is strong. When you hear bad news and they're gonna and and they're really hitting certain you know certain things regarding about a company or the industry, and that stock does not go down, there you go. That's what we're looking for. Anyway, been in one of our greatest swing trades. I'll keep talking about it. I tell I'm telling you, I think the stock's gonna probably go to 100. Um, I still own it. Stock is, um, you know, you still got to push out there. Is it too late to buy it? I don't know. You, you you know, it's it's your money, but to me. You know, I think it still goes higher, but once again, I have a good position in it. IQ doing great, and it was good yesterday. And the Hoya, and which, by the way, all these stocks are going back on the watch list. I mean, just look at those charts. It's absolutely gorgeous. Anyway, uh, most students actually made money on all the positions. A ton of them just walked away over a dollar profit. Remember, being a good day trader, all you're looking, looking to do is make it make a day's pay. That's it. So that one all did pretty well. All right. So, um... Let's go talk about what's going on this morning. Uh, you know, anyway, about the, regarding the sanctions that we're hearing a lot about uh, that we uh, President Trump put on China. Um, there's some companies that are probably a pretty hit. I was listening on TV uh, and they said Starbucks has about 15% of their profit comes from China. And uh, if they put sanction on there, the stock's getting hit. I don't know if, if, if this has to do anything about their new um, their new their new courtesy rules regarding them closing down for the day so i think starbucks i mean listen 
I was looking at the long-term chart. This stock has done absolutely nothing. I don't know why people keep talking about it, but when you have something something like this been stagnant for almost two years, three years, has not really trained in, in a trading range. You know, I don't know if it pays a crazy dividend, but there's a lot more better ones out there that will. But I don't know. I think uh, Starbucks is not looking too well for the long term. That stock's getting a big hit. Uh, so maybe that would be a nice little short, not only for the day trade, but a swing trade. CLPS is another one that gapped up pretty nicely. Stock's been up a little nicely. You can see it, uh, but it's on a downtrend. So I, I don't know how to, how to look at this other than let's see when the market opens up. 35%, which is pretty good. It's not like some of the other ones that are up really, really big. And there are some big ones like the LTBR, which we saw earlier this morning. That thing just gapped up huge, but she's on a downtrend. The only reason why I like this LT, uh, LTBR is some of you remember we traded this back uh, in uh, February. This thing went from $1.50 to $4. So she's right now trading right around these resistance levels right here. Unbelievable iceberg orders. Look at the matrix orders everywhere i mean the stock did trade 2.2 million shares already this morning but i i i, I kind of like turned off a little bit about it when the stock gapped up a lot uh tom says lightning war u.s patent of uh yeah uh, a nuclear full assembly design yeah i mean listen whatever that means obviously it's good news but uh we're here you know obviously you know we're here to trade on the on, on the on the momentum of the stock, and the momentum's kind of dying out regardless of that news. ATOS, I just want to bring that up, but that's, you know, we'll put it on a watch list, but we'll keep an eye on it. One that looks a little bit better, this is a stock that some of you remember we traded it back, you know, last year. It went from $4 to $18. You can see that nice little long term chart right there. We know ATOS does move. Uh, it's got decent volume already, 192,000 shares. Spread looks okay. That one right now, I think, is probably my favorite out of them all. You know, out of all of them as of right now. Now, I know all of us are looking at the news. What's going on? Fox News. Fox, uh, 20th Century Fox is doing really, really well. And not only is it doing well, guys, but Fox uh, is breaking an all-time high. So this is, the, this is the warrant. There's A, and there's also... FOX, okay? So they're both trading the same. I went as far back as I can in Fox. It really hasn't uh, took a little bit of a hit yesterday. I heard the news like yesterday, but it gapped up pretty big this morning. So I guess, uh, what was the news? Something about them, about a buyout with, uh, was it with Disney or something like that? I forgot it was something else. That, or, or Disney had to match an offer or something like that. I don't know. I missed that whole news, but that's basically something that's going on. They could be doing like a merger or something. Anyone? What is it, Benito? You probably know. I saw you chatted earlier. Um, all right, we'll, we'll, we'll come out and we'll share that a little bit later what the news is. But Disney is in, and, and Comcast are in a bidding war. Right, okay. That's what it was. Com yeah, right. So they're trying to buy Comcast or something like that. And Disney has to match it. If they can't match it, you know, they have the right to match it. If not, it's going to Fox. You know, <laughs> can't say it come, can't sucks. Well, you know what? Maybe when they take it over, uh, can maybe they'll make it better. All right. You know what happens? They just go out there and they just uh, change everything. All right. So uh, it's sweetening a bit of okay Disney sweetening its bid offer for Fox. It said twenty seventy one billion dollars on Wednesday. Topping Comcast. All right, so Disney's looking to buy Fox. Is that that's what was the news? Okay, all right. All right, so we got that one. We got those two. The other one that obviously made the news. I haven't seen this in a while. Oracle's taking a nice big hit right here. Oracle, you know, like I said, we're having this great rally in the market. Oracle really hasn't gone anywhere, but it looks like a short right here. Stock's taking a little bit of a hit. Stock's down about three percent. A little bit of a brand name. You're probably hearing about a lot of it on the news. So. There's another brand name that obviously looking on shorts. We got two really interesting shorts. We got Oracle, you got Starbucks. My favorite right now, looking at this open. Uh, but I didn't trade in pre market. I, I want to see how it opens up at the ATOS. And then we obviously have the Fox, you know? Keep an eye on that one. Bidding wars are pretty good because uh, there's, no, there's no limit of where it could go. IQ, yeah, I mean, obviously that's all on our watch list. IQ's got resistance levels right around here, around the, uh, I would say right around the 45, 25. 
So it's making a little bit of a comeback right on that resistance. Remember, Hoya, H-U-Y-A, and IQ trade exactly the same. It's like one's like almost like a warrant, honestly. All right, guys, listen, good luck today. Happy trading. Hopefully, everyone's going to be joining class. We got phase one that's going on today. And then remember, we got phase two that starts tomorrow. Hopefully, everybody enjoyed Traders Talk with Josh yesterday. And then uh, remember, I got my phase three that's starting next week. Make sure you guys watch those recordings. Whatever you missed, it's going to be in your dashboard. Remember, that only applies if you are a bronze, silver, and gold, uh, and platinum students, and also diamond. Uh, get access to those courses. If you guys want to learn a bit more about the courses, talk to the Education Advisor. I'll tell you a little bit more about it. All right, guys? Remember, most important thing about trading, tip of the day, you have to learn before you could earn. So whatever you're seeing of all these big winners and, and how do we find them and everything, being in this room is going to be useless. You know, you got to learn how to speak the language. We're just here to spark interest. And then hopefully if you want to be able to be part of the team, you got to know how to play the game. That's the most important because remember, it's not for everyone. Good luck, everyone. Happy trading. And uh, as we see some new, tick, uh, new things that are moving the mark, we'll put it in the room. Good luck, everyone. Happy trading.